Hello and welcome to another episode of Miss Survival and today I'm back on my base let me just put the thing on the thing and it's day 76 because I've been working on some things and let me just go down and what I'm gonna do right now is make some grenades oh yeah because I got a few right here I got five. Let's try to make. I don't know what it takes to make them. I think I have to upgrade this thing. Yep. Then six, six and two. Okay. I have. I have fourteen. Yeah. Let's just upgrade the thing and two boxes. Let's do it. Says I'm gonna make some grenades. I never made grenades. That's weird, I know. So what it takes? One one and four gunpowder. Oh boy. Yep, I, I, I should have thought of that. I'm not going to be able to make all of this. How oh, many can I make? Four. Okay, I got nine grenades. That's better than nothing, I guess. <laughs> then I make some more gunpowder. Do I have the powdery powdery thing? No, I gotta go to the Berserker Mine. So, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to the Berserker Mine really quick. And gather myself some more gunpowder. And make some more grenades, because I've built quite a nice thing and I'll just show you a little later so I'm not gonna need the nails I'm gonna need stones make more pestles. Uh, I believe I got another one somewhere let me see Yep, I got another one right here. Then I need more impesto, the pickaxe, which is not famous, not at its best. Let's see if I can make another one. Eight and eight. I got eight, and I believe I got some right here. Yep. Let's just make a few. Okay, now let's make a pickaxe, just to be sure that I got enough pickaxes. Okay, so I can leave the grenade right here, and make some more impestles. I'm gonna need wheat and drink and possibly bring some more because I'm gonna spend a few hours and then by night time I should be able to show you what I got I think I just bring a few sodas one soda nice And I don't think I need anything else. The elevator is working. 
I got my mooring pestles. Yep. Let me just save. And let's keep going. Where's my truck? There he is. So let's go to the mine really quick. And mine for a bit. Because I would like to have some more grenades. The... Um, so I kind of built a trap for the zombies. I haven't tested it yet. I don't know if it's gonna work. But my idea is to trap them in a hole and then just blow them into pieces with my grenades. But the thing is, this is my first time making grenades. I've been playing this game for quite a while, and I, but I never made grenades. I don't know why, but I never. I thought it, they just didn't work. Wouldn't work. That's what I just thought. But I'm gonna test them out, and I no, I don't know if they kill the zombies. I don't know if they destroy my buildings. I don't know if they go through the buildings. I have no idea. But uh, later on I'm gonna show you the trap I've built and it's gonna be a live test. You're gonna see it as uh, uh, in real time as I see it too, because I haven't tested it. The only thing I know is that the zombies can reach it. Can reach my... <coughs> my trap. But I don't know if it's gonna work, but let's see. For now, let's just go inside here. I got my... Wooden arrows. Hopefully, hopefully it's not necessary. Let's see. I don't see nobody. It's turned on. So let's go. Yeah, there's some sofa here. Let's grab grab it. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna be here forever. Just gonna grab a few things. Just things for gunpowder. I'm not gonna grab uh, iron or zinc or something because I don't need I don't need shells for the for the grenades. I just need the gunpowder. So that's what all I'm gonna grab. There's this dude. How are you doing? How are you doing, Berserker? Making noise like always. I'm back here. Remember me? I came here a while ago. I don't know if you remember. But I need some more gunpowder. I need some more gunpowder. Do you do you mind? Okay, I'll leave you to it. I don't know why I came this way. I could have gone for the damn elevator. I just not paying attention. I'm not paying attention. Let's see if I can outrun him. Jesus, he's a big fella. Open the thing, man. Close it. Nice. Let's go down. Oh, nice. I saved myself a few minutes. I was going around like a jackass. And now by the time I go up, it should be stuck in place, I hope. Otherwise, it's gonna be a bitch. So, yep, I don't got nothing here. But let's just keep on rolling. Oh, there's a dude right there. But I believe he's stuck. Let's see. Miss. Yep, he's stuck a roof. But he might come to life when I come close. No. Nice. I like it. Oh, some salt is some sugar. How good is that? Thanks, dude. Got my arrow. No, because I didn't hit you. Of course not. There it is. Cool. So this is not what I want. This is half of it. Some saltpeter. Yep. Bring it back. Give it all. Give it all. 
this is not this is not neither there's some sofa here let's grab it uh, midday so still early I got time because my plan is to use it on the night zombies not on the day zombies because the night zombies come in higher numbers and the day zombies come in like groups of two or four so I I think it might it might be much more efficient and much more fun with the night zombies. But let's see. Let's see. I don't know if if it's gonna work. No idea. If it doesn't work, well, at least we learn something. At least I'll I'll know that it doesn't work, and that's a good result. Now we're stuck in place. That's how he rolls. Just mopes <laughs> and I got nothing here Jesus fucking Christ running around like a lunatic but I came here just so that the things downstairs re uh, respawn you know I would have to come up here anyway so better check if there's some more sulfur and saltpeter and I got coal in my base so I should be able to make some more gunpowder let's see I got a, a good harvest. Not here. Nothing. No. God damn it. Motherfucker. Jesus. Do I have to destroy the things to a so they they I don't think so. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Let me just smack the thing. This is what iron? Okay. 40% Okay, but let's go up again But I'm gonna waste a lot of stamina doing this, so I better just melt something uh, Make some powder This helps me regain some stamina And you know, if I spend the other night, it goes by, by pretty quick. No, oh, I got my stamina back, so let's go. I can just go tomorrow. That's no problem. That's the same amount of minutes. No problem. No, no problem. Okay. And it's quite misty. And I do hope they, these things respawn, but I don't know. Maybe they are the same. Maybe I need to destroy them. To let new ones respawn. I don't know. Hello, dude. You got something for me? No. Okay, so I destroyed two, now let's see, this is copper, let's, let's see if the next one, next time I come here, it's still copper. If it is, it means I have to destroy the, 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 the ore to be able to respawn a new one. Because on this mine it doesn't work to do the save quitting continue thing, because this uh, mine doesn't uh, load in very well, unlike the other. Yeah, but I'm not... I think this is the same shit. Oh no, but this one I destroyed? Yeah, I think I have to destroy it. Even though I'm, I don't need to pick it up, but I think I have to destroy it because it's steel iron here and there. Yeah, it's the same ore. But no point leaving it on the ground, right? Well, if I need room, I just leave it over there, next to my furnace. A bit of grinding, but if you want the things, you gotta do the things. That's just how it rolls. Now we 
got plenty of iron. That's a lot of iron. I don't know what I need it for. Now that I got... Oh, I might need it to make a new sledgehammer. Because it's 47%. <laughs> but I got it like since day 5 or something like that. So it might last for another 50 or 60 days. <laughs> so it's not a big problem. Not at all. Let's just get some room and smell some iron. Why not? And let's take advantage of the trip to just make some more saltpeter and get some stamina. Nice. Taking good advantage of the elevator. So let's see. That's still copper. Yeah, the copper is still there. So I need to destroy it. That's the conclusion I'm arriving at. That on this mine... Yeah, it would only respawn a new ore if I reloaded the game. I think that's it. Because that's what I do on the other mine, on the, the old mine. I reload and that's why new ores respawn. But if, since I'm not reloading the game, the same ores remain in the same place. That's what I figure. <coughs> And if you never came to this mine, you know, this is the best mine to come. You just gotta go through the berserk and don't need to kill him. Just, need to, just, just have to run past him. And uh, you have to save Scott to be able to activate this quest. You need to come here to activate this quest. And then he'll show you, you need to gather some copper. Because he's gonna want some copper. And then you make some copper wires and bring some duct tape and you fix the thing and the elevator is activated. And it's much better because if you have to, if you want to go around and not use the elevator, it's a long way down man. It's a long way to go up and down. The elevator is much much quicker. So you do need the elevator to come here. And this mine is better than the other one because this this one has everything has the the metal ores like iron and copper and zinc and also the the gunpowder ores like sulfur and uh, saltpeter and on the old mine you only get the metal ores and some sulfur nice oh i got them both see how they change color look at it it's magic I'm wearing special goggles to be able to see both colors. It's a uh, it's a special kind of goggles. You you don't get them anywhere. You just have to order them online. And that's what I did. I ordered them online. Scott told me about it. Apparently, there's a working computer in the city, and I went there. I ordered it, and it came around. They just left it there. And now I can see two colors. So let's put some more. Yeah, keep sticking iron in it. Why not? That's pretty good. And just leave the copper here. Yep. Let's go for another ride. Yeah, I don't need to close this. Let's make some more sulfur. Get some stamina. Nice, I got 10 sulfur and some more saltpeter in the way. Oh yeah, two saltpeters. Cool. I like it. So it was 4 gunpowder per grenade, right? So if I got 10 gunpowder now, that's only 2 grenades, that's not a lot. It's still 4 p.m. Oh, I... Give you, ah, thank you. Let's destroy this one. So that I might be lucky and get 3 sulfurs and 3 saltpeters next time. Okay. 
been good. Running around like crazy. Just to make some gunpowder. This is why you're much better off on this game just looting the zombies and the bandits. Get some ammo. Because if you want to make your own ammo, it takes a while, man. You gotta spend here a few days and nights just doing this shit. And even so, it kind of feels like it's not worth it, you know? Because it takes so much time just to make one stack of gunpowder. Jesus. <clears throat> and you go through a few pickaxes. You have to bring a lot of water and food and shit. And there's not much to look around, right? Just rocks and stuff. If at least you had some trees and, a, and the ocean to look at, that would be a little more entertaining. Something. But no. In the cave, you, your pickaxe and the stones. That's all. So it's grind at its peak. Some people do enjoy this. I'm kind of one of those people. I do enjoy the mining aspect of survival games. Not gonna lie about it. But I kind of like it when it gives me something back. <laughs> right? I don't like... I, li I enjoy the, the process. But um, but I don't enjoy going through this and getting almost nothing at the end. That's why Seven Days to Die to me has the best mining of all survival games because it rewards you with ores that are important for something. And if you, it's balanced in a way that makes you feel like you're getting something for the grind. And on this game, I think they need to balance it a little bit more. The, or put more ores inside the mines. Or give you more ores per each... Give you more, more resources for each stone you break down. Or make things less, ex less expensive. Some tweaking needs to be done. It's an alpha game, early access. It's a lot of stuff needs to be tweaked around. That's just how it is. But uh, this is, I think, is one of those things. I, I believe the, the, this ammo crafting thing would be a little more enjoyable if you just up the rewards a little bit. That's just my opinion. Of course. There would be a downside to it, because if the re reward of mining was higher, then people maybe wouldn't take so much risks to raid the bandit camps or to farm the zombies. Because if you had an easy way to get ammo without doing it, maybe a lot of people would just go for the safer route and just go mining. But at the same time, that's up to the player. I think a, a good game, a good survival game, open world and shit, should allow the player to choose however he wants to play. If he wants to take risks and go for the bandits, you can do it. If you want to go mining and be safe and hide in your in your compound, you should also be able to do it. That's just the, the thing. That's why a skill tree also would be nice in this game. Because it would allow you to, to go in the direction that you want. If you want to be a, a scavenger and survive on, on the running around, not confronting your enemies and stuff, you could do it. If you want to be a warrior and just steal things from the bandits, you could do it and specialize on, on the on the skill that you want. That's also 
I'm pretty sure it's going to be implemented because there's a there's a, a place for it already somewhere around the maybe status of years the skill yeah you see there's this thing it's not really implemented I don't think I don't think there's any advantage to this but it might be in the future because it wouldn't be here right the items passive items okay I got a compass that's right I thought it would be here but apparently it's on the key items now I haven't even looked at this really carefully because most of it is not working uh, yeah, it's a work in progress. I don't think I need to keep mentioning that it's, I do enjoy this game. I do think it's fun. But since it's an early access game, it's still an alpha. It's also nice to, to waffle a little bit about the things that could be improved. And the things that you would like to see in the game. That would make it even better. I think they are okay. Twenty-five. That's like six grenades. Not too bad, but it's the middle of the night, so I'm just gonna take the advantage of it and keep mining for a little bit. A little bit more. Just a few more trips upstairs. Not that, not too many. And then by tomorrow, I'm gonna show you the real deal. The nice trap that I've built. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna figure out the time I wasted on it. I, it wasn't long as the sign that I'm building on the motel, of course. That's the big one. <laughs> that's the one that's gonna take like I know I don't know maybe until day 120 or something <laughs> something like that but for now the the, the, the trap it's, it's gonna be pretty cool it's gonna be fun let's see and just so if I'm lucky I might just go up down and just sleep and go home this is mostly a test it's gonna be mostly a test so after I tested it if it doesn't work there's not really a good point making a lots of lots of grenades right oh so yeah I just would like to have uh, maybe two stacks or three be nice but yeah I'm just gonna collect these ones no, no points because they are not what I want let's just go down See what's down there and just sleep and go home. Because I should have, I think I got nine plus six grenades or maybe seven. Yeah, 15, 16 grenades, that's pretty good. There should be enough to, to, to be to know for sure if, if it's gonna work. And there are several issues with my trap. One of them is they, the zombies need to follow a certain path for it to work. And I'm not sure if they're going to. The second problem is I don't know if the grenades will destroy the, the walls and stuff that I built. I hear a zombie. I don't care. You're stuck. I don't even know where we are. Where the hell are you, dude? If you wanna come around and play? Just let me know, okay? Right here. And uh, yeah, there's uh, the there's a lot of stuff to be tested on that trap, but it's a new one for me. Never done it. Yep. Well, let's see how it goes. I just sleep. Maybe 
Yeah, let's just sleep. Six hours. Okay, let's take the, the iron. And uh, yeah, why not? I leave it here. So let's go home. Let's see if I can make some more of this. Okay, seventy nine. That should allow me to make twenty nine, so four times seven. How much is four times seven? Twenty eight, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can make seven grenades. I believe. Let's see. Could be some zombies here. Apparently not. Nice. Let's keep zipping away. So long, fellas. I got places to go. Hey, Bobby. You you don't lose your head over it, okay? <laughs> Works every time. Oh, man. I cracked myself up. Okay, let's go home. And uh, do the grenade thing. And if I have to, I'll just sleep through the day. Just to go to the night, trap those damn zombies and blow them to pieces. I hope, I really hope it works, man. May not work perfectly, but if it works just a little bit, yeah, I'll be satisfied with it. And of course I'm also gonna bring some ammo, some maybe like shotgun and uh, the bow, just to be sure that I don't get beaten down, and <laughs> because it can go terribly, terribly wrong, I don't think it will, but you never know, my calculations could have been totally wrong, let's see. And I got the whole day to make the grenades and stuff, so uh, that should be good. Uh, oh, which is the, the button for the oh, R? Okay, so let's make some damn gunpowder. Let's grab the coal. I got it right here. Nice. Be enough. Just leave the iron. And where do I make the gunpowder? I don't remember. Is it me on me? Yeah, just the modern pestle, of course. And let's make oh I can make quite a bit. My calculations were totally wrong. Apparently I can make double. That's nice. That's really nice. Where's the, the rest of the... Okay. Oh, I got some more here. Maybe I can make even more. Four more. Pretty good. Bring it. So this can stay here. Do I have... Oh, I got another modern pestle. Okay, what's down there? Oh, it's just zinc. So let's stick with it, and the rest can stay on the floor. Bravo. It doesn't go bad. Copper lasts quite a while. And let's just park this thing. Nope. Let's put it here. And 
Now let's make those damn grenades. I'm psyched about it. The store the pickaxes. The what? The pickaxes. Pickaxes. Not pickaxes. The pickaxes. The pick things. You know? Yeah. I should know. So I need it. What the hell did I need it? I don't know. Let's see. Grenades. Oh, crap. Okay, I got them right here. Let's bring it. Let's ramble. Let ramble up. Fifteen grenades. Nicely done. <laughs> hey. actually double that I thought I could make. Yep. I miscalculated my gunpowder production. Nice. So I got a lot now. Look at it. Oh it's stacks of six. Okay. I got twenty four grenades. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's a lot of grenades. So I'm also gonna bring a shoddy and uh, uh, I'll stay with one grenade right here. So some ammo for the shoddy. It's gonna be like Horde Knight. If you played games with Horde Knight, that's how it's gonna be. Let's bring another stack. Why not? Let's be wasteful. Let's enjoy ourselves. Let's enjoy our time together. So I got the chocolate. Why? Why am I? Okay, a sweet tooth. That makes sense. I guess. I'm gonna grab some water back in the in the motel. And then I'm gonna sleep there for a while. And what else would I need? Oh, my car is on the other side, dude. The thing is completely built. I don't think I need anything else. So let's just go there. And you're gonna see firsthand my first zombie trap. As you know, you get you make uh, farms, zombie farms. You make uh, little paths. Well, those aren't really traps. Those are just walls, right? But this is my first attempt, and uh, uh, my sign coming along really nice. Uh, um, in case you haven't seen it, CS. There's five letters to go pretty damn awesome but this is my first okay berry bear go away man go away You're not invited or welcome no and I got a shotgun also be careful and came here for water I got food so I believe I'm just gonna sleep here. Motherfucker. You really wanna play, don't you? Jesus. Thank god I heard you. Yeah. Why don't you take Kate? She's right there, man. She looks tasty, doesn't it? But you don't only want me. That's something. That's your problem. You got problems, dude. If you're picky, in terms of your food, you're not gonna survive it. You know? Gotta be careful with that. So let's see. I was gonna sleep until 9 p.m. Kinda. What? Where did I go? No. I went on the roof, man. Maybe 8 p.m. Yeah, 8 p.m. Oh. It's so scary already. Let's go. I don't have much time. 
Time is running out and they're almost out. They're out and fierce. And they... They want blood. Oh yeah. They want my blood and my brains. So let's not get them any of those things. So let me try... Yeah, okay, so I turn right here. Yep. And I go up here. Kind of a ravine. There's not much light. But, you know. This is the thing. I'm just gonna climb it to deny fall damage. I, I, I only built this thing to be able to, to, to reach here. But now I don't have fall damage. Just to be sure that I don't... Because if I die with the zombies, that's one thing. If I die because I fell, that's another thing. So this is the thing. So the idea is... I'm gonna be on that side. And they come here. And they fall on the hole. And then I blast them with my grenades. That's the idea. In paper. Let's see if it works. I don't know. As I said before... They could just stop right there and uh, not not go for the hole. They could go for the hole. I throw the grenades and the grenades just fall through the mezzanine. I don't know. That maybe they'll explode and they destroy my things and the zombies keep keep remain alive. I don't have no idea. <laughs> the only thing I know is that I'm here and I'm ready. So let's call them out. So what I'm gonna do is call everybody around. Come on, dudes. This might be a total failure. I don't know. I see a dude down there. But they don't seem to know the way. That's the thing. They don't seem to know how to come here. He's running. So he goes there and stops. Yep. Oh. Go up, dude. Go that way. That way. That's right. That's right. Come along. No, man, not that way. You have to go around. Oh, that's right. Go in the hole. Yay, you went in the hole. What the hell? Where the... Okay. I don't have the... Oh, it's number two. No. Do I have to take the pin or something? Oh, it just goes. Yeah, nice. I didn't die, but neither did he. <laughs> That's... Oh boy! That's a huge blast. But nothing happened. <laughs> nothing happened. And uh, I... I don't know. Let's try another one. Oh boy. It just throws, throws me around, but nothing happened. <laughs> Let's try to get some more. Come on, buddies. Anybody around? Anybody around? I want more fellas. I see them, but they are taking their time to come. Yeah, dude. Right in there. You're not gonna jump, are you? Right in there. Down you go. I got two now. I, w I would like more. Yeah. Straight this way. Yeah. There you go. I got three. Oh, motherfucker. I got four. <laughs> okay, let's test out the grenade. Blast away! Yay, I killed one. <laughs> oh boy, this is actually kind of working. 
it's actually kind of working. I'm just gonna waste a lot of bullets calling these dudes out because it would be nice to get the full thing. Yeah. You stand right there, man. Come on. This way, Villa. This way, please. Yeah, right in the hole. Right in the hole. That's right. I built a nice cage for you guys. I hope you like it. It's warm inside. Oh, yeah. Motherfucker. How the hell did they reach me, man? How many do I got? I'm not gonna loot them, of course. Yeah, I got... Three, six. Can I get more? I would like more. Yeah, right this way. Nicely done. Right in there. You know it. Oh boy, you're not gonna... Yeah. Okay, let's test it out again. Kaboom! Nice. No one died. How awesome is that? These grenades are as effect effect effective as, 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 as blowing into their faces and saying die please these grenades are terrible oh Jesus <laughs> these grenades are damn awful I'm telling you don't use grenades man oh nice no one died not one and I got more customers but you're not gonna die that's why they come they know it's safe Nothing will happen to them. It's a big boom, but nothing. Zip. Like watching paint dry. Nothing happened. Did another one die? Nope. That's awfully awful. I wasn't expecting such a, such a downer, to be honest. Look at it. They do nothing. That's just... Maybe this is why I never built the damn grenades. I, I think I was sure. I was... Some, somehow I knew it wouldn't work. Maybe I need more guys. That's the, that's the thing. Maybe I don't have enough guys. Yeah. Come on, dude. Come on. Yeah, gather up. Gather up cold outside yeah right in there you know the way right. Jesus man why can't they make the grenades do something I mean I killed one guy <laughs> look at it it blows me off but it doesn't it doesn't do shit <laughs> oh god damn it Huh? Let's try this side. Maybe I'm the, I'm on the wrong side. Maybe that's it. Maybe I need to throw it right there. On the middle of them. Yeah! What now? Zero. Oh, they, they got some Kevlar, dude. I need to get some that Kevlar. They're pretty well insulated against high explosives. Jesus. Maybe it's those blue shirts. They give him insulation against against high pressures and shit. Twenty four grenades and one pistol bullet is better than all of them. God damn it! <laughs> what the hell is going on? Can you die? At least one, dude. One. I ask for one. Maybe I have to crouch. Maybe that's the problem. Yeah. Nice. Try to blow up my balls. Maybe it will work. Oh man. That's... Well, I guess I just have to try to show you how I built this. So that's a mezzanine. That's another mezzanine. Down there. And I built this here. Because I don't know if the zombies would climb a ladder. If I made like a ladder, I don't know if they would climb it. So I had to put the mezzanine on a place that they would reach. So I found this ravine. The large bandit camp it is this way. Up this road. And this way they can just run on it. Onto the mezzanine. Then. And then the, this is also good to make this hole. And then I just put these walls around. 
And over there I didn't place a wall because I couldn't reach the, the little table. The little table that allows you to build it, I couldn't reach it. So I had to put some fences so they don't, so they don't fall over there. So that's how I built this thing. Didn't take too long, but everything's working except the, the damn grenades. The damn grenades are the only thing letting me down. Look at it. Nothing. It's like wind on their faces. Jesus. <laughs> Look, if I shoot an arrow, they just go down. Down you go. I missed. Uh, okay. Down you go. Maybe there's too many of them. Maybe that's the problem. Let's see. <laughs> My Lex 6 grenades. Okay. Huh? Nobody. Oh man, I'm just gonna use them. They're useless. <laughs> yeah, don't don't bother using grenades right now. They're not <laughs> doing anything. <laughs> Oh boy, that's pretty fun though. <laughs> I like the sound, but that's all there is to enjoy about the grenades. Jesus, let's just finish it off. Because it was pretty disappointing, my last arrow. Oh, I got eight more. Let's see if they're enough. Okay. Just stand still, dude. I wanna hit you in the face. Can I? Oh boy, my last arrow. He's gonna stay alive. Oh no. Okay, so I guess I'll just pretend those grenades killed them dudes. Oh yeah. So, that's it. They didn't quite work exactly as I wanted it. But, <laughs> I hope you at least had some fun, because I sure did. And yeah, don't waste your time with grenades. They, they do nothing. Absolutely nothing. So, again, off the game early access in the future they'll work for sure the development team is working on it and uh, but there you go you can make traps where the zombies fall down and they just get stuck in there so if you want to collect a view of them this is a good way so thank you for watching and until next episode